be at his essay this is high priestess yashodhara singh welcome viewer welcome to the reading uh, that this video is going to cover for the last week of april 2024 starting from april 23rd to april 30th um, but before we begin let me tell you april 24th is the pink moon the full moon enjoy it uh, make all your promises release all the rubbish from your life and attract all the beauty that you deserve and you work towards okay don't forget to charge your magic water go ahead and see the video i've already put it in the channel uh, how to charge your magic water uh, make sure that all of you in your family have it uh, it is very good for health and very good for mind body and spirit you can also charge your items that you wear on a regular basis i've even shown that all right let's begin uh, uh, the central theme so we have three cards for the central uh, theme and four cards for four of the main topics uh, general health wealth and relationship so the central theme speaks about emotions will be running high the divine feminine and the two of fire or the two of wands right one at a time so let's do um these are huge cards okay um so when we speak about emotions running high it means it doesn't it's not a positive thing to say so <clears throat> Impulse is something you should watch. Watch your temper, watch your emotions. Uh, never try to take decisions when you are emotionally charged. Don't get sucked into drama. Learn to take a step back and then take a decision. Uh, very, very important, okay? So if this is come, remember forewarned is forearmed. Remind yourself that. This is a card that will also test how mature you are in terms of making a move taking a decision so remind yourself of that okay and don't worry about how it will make you look you should be more concerned about how it will make you feel the divine feminine is here to tell you that as a central theme of the last week of april 2024 viewer there is definitely feminine energy which means you are going to be tolerant you are going to be uh, more on the passive side which is all right as long as you don't get uh, stepped on don't allow that to happen uh, you are going to be uh, more of an observer than an active person right or at least you're being advised to do that and you are going to be uh, literally a fly on the wall so somebody who is watching things pan out in front of them but not necessarily participating in it which is all right okay uh, two of fire, two of wands. So this is a card that says uh, that you have come into your own, good for you. It is possible to move forward now in your journey and new partnerships and contracts are on the way. Remember, um, here we're also talking about you having something already in your hands and you're building on it, you're working on it. There's a huge creative element that you're using, uh, a whole a whole lot of creativity of your own personal doing that you are using to make whatever you have bigger brighter and better to present to the world that is watching you so good for you all right uh, so let's do the general reading first um the general reading is the four of coins or the four of pentacles the ten of wands the Six of Cups and the Queen of Swords. As you can see, there's a lot of feminine energy here, again, um, as compared to the masculine energy. So let's do this card first. We are talking about property and savings being the theme of the week for you in general. So whether it's property tax, buying, selling, renting, leasing, that's definitely going to be in the cards for you in the first week. You might also have some... Uh, legal i won't say issues but some legal aspects of your property for example paying the rent or paying tax right something that is owed to the government stuff like that you might also be holding on to your monies quite tightly so being very careful as uh, a person who's spending in terms of finance that's also possible uh you you are burning the midnight oil viewer looks like you're working very very hard 
perhaps to reach your aim to meet a target or it's possible that you are trying to keep yourself so busy that you're not addressing what should be priority. Watch your health, watch your spirit energy. Don't burn yourself out while burning the midnight oil. You need a midnight lamp, sorry. You need to ensure that your energy levels are high, rest on time, okay? This is a warning card. Six of cups, um, so it is possible that you might be hit by bouts of nostalgia, memories of childhood when things were simpler, uh, life was easier, less responsibilities. It is also possible that someone may come from your past into your present life and it is possible that they might want something from you. Um, it won't be a coincidence. There is a, there is a reason why this person has come into your life. Um, take it as it comes, that's all I'm gonna say. Uh, and see what happens, right? Let's see how it pans out. And the last card as a general theme is the Queen of Swords. This tells me it could be a Gemini or dealing with one. This card is also the card for widowhood and divorces. Um, and this card says that you are being a little more stern than you usually are. You're much more softer in general, but it looks like the end result is your responsibility. And that's why you're swishing your sword and getting the job done. You're afraid that people might judge you as a stern and harsh person. Don't worry, they won't. Everybody knows that you're doing this because that is the need of the hour. That is what is required. So don't overthink it, okay? And don't go overboard either. All right, let's do the health deck for the last week of April 2024. You've pulled out the six of coins or the six of pent uh, pentacles, the six of swords, the moon card, and the chariot card interesting isn't it okay so six of uh, pentacles tells me that you could be a liberal or dealing with one this card also means that um, okay so in terms of health this means that either you owe someone money maybe a bank maybe a personal money lender or someone owes you money your money seems to be stuck somewhere and that is giving you it could be anything viewer it could be acidity heartburn to sleepless nights, to tension, blood pressure, high cholesterol, the works. It's, it's affecting your health. This money aspect of your life. There seems to be some disbalance. Or either you need money, not being able to pay off your loans, or somebody owes you money, and you're not being able to get that money back because they don't have the money or they're not giving it back to you, whatever it is. It's, it's beginning to affect your health. Please find a solution to it. And listen, there's a solution for everything. You have to find it. You can have spells done by us or you can go to a reliable source and make sure that the job gets done, okay? Uh, this is not good blue magic, so which means if you do come to us, we will have to do a spell to first reverse your blue magic. That's very important because lending money or borrowing money is bad blue magic. Six of Swords tells me that you have received an offer, you will receive an offer. It will not get any better than this. You need to accept what you're getting Cut your losses and move on. Uh, in terms of health, a trip by the water will also be very beneficial for you. The moon card tells me that you could be a Piscean or dealing with one. There, uh, you might be uh, dreaming a lot. You might be imagining a lot of things and that could cause a certain amount of overthinking and stress, which is not good for health. It's also possible that something is being hidden from you and uh, or you are hiding from your own self maybe um, it could be anything related to your health maybe there is a uh, nagging issue in terms of um, well um, breathing issue respiratory digestive right bone related but there is something that you're like you know what i'll deal with it later or maybe you know it's not become that bad i can i can function normally please pay attention to it it can come back and bite you in the you know where later. So please address it. Health comes first, right? And the last card uh, for the health deck, you have the chariot card. It, this tells me it could be a Cancerian or dealing with one. This card also means that uh, you need to balance your life. It seems that you are disbalanced. It could be that you're thinking too much and working less. It could be that you're not exercising and eating too much. It could be that uh, you're working 
very hard and forgetting to rest. Um, you're eating up on the time that has been kept for that particular um, task in terms of your life. Figure out what it is and fix it because this seems to be affecting your health. And remember, a good night's sleep is the best way to stay healthy, right? One of the best ways. All right, so that finishes our health aspect for April. Let's do the wealth aspect for April. The last week you've pulled out the seven of coins or the seven of pentacles, the tower card, the four of wands and the ten of wands. All right, so the seven of coins tells me that uh, you will be thinking about savings and investment, how to increase your savings. You might look for good interest rates and, uh, you know, setting your eyes on that and setting your aim on that and going for it. You are not interested in spending, you are interested in saving. That's going to be the pulse for you in terms of finance. Uh, April last week, good, good for you. The Tower card is here to say that uh, you were expecting something to end. Some of you may have wanted to quit six months down the line and maybe you found a good offer and you left it. Uh, just giving an example, okay? In terms of finance, you were expecting this this road to finish but it's finished earlier than what you expected as a result of this initially you'll be a little uh, shaken up you might be standing on shaky ground but please tell yourself that what doesn't kill you will just make you stronger right so it's true in this case you are going to come out of it and you are going to come out of it stronger more mature more experienced and in better shape uh, the Four of Wands uh, tells me that there will be uh, some kind of a ceremony, could be a promotion, uh, uh, could be a, could be a, you know, it's possible that you go to somebody's engagement party or wedding party and you get a good job offer, maybe a business investor will be there. Don't move away from this, attend it. Because uh, the more you interact with people and the more people see how you are, uh, you never know when you meet someone who might give you a break. So please go ahead and attend this, okay? And the last card, Ten of Wands, interesting, interesting. So it looks like you are working very hard day and night to meet a target, meet a name, which is good, but not good for your health. You need to get some rest. You may burn out. It's also possible that you are not keeping uh, your priority as um, not just health, but something that you should be giving attention to, but you're ignoring that. And that's why you're working hard, so that you don't have to think about it, okay? So you're pushing and sweeping this thing under the carpet. Just a possibility, I'm just saying, okay? Don't shoot the messenger. All right, and the last deck of cards that we have is for relationships. And for April 2024, the last week, here you pulled out the Hierophant card, the Star card, the Ten of Cups, and the Strength card. Three out of four major arcana, which means that you do have the blessings of the angels. The Hierophant card or the Mage card or the High Priest card is a pure Vicar card. Uh, tells me you could be a Taurian or dealing with one. We're talking about loyalty here. We're talking about religious ceremonies, occasions where you, uh, you know, social occasions uh, where you must, um, you must attend if you're invited. And if you're conducting it, it could be for, um, you know, I'm guessing it uh, could be marriage, could be, a birth ceremony or you know um, some kind of something that is important for you not just because it's a very good high vibe it's a blessed vibe but because you might need someone there who might hold the key to something else that you're looking for so do attend it okay whatever the ceremony is the star card tells me that you could be an aquarian or dealing with one this card also says that in a situation where you feel all hope is lost don't worry there is still hope Having said that, this card is also uh, about karmic baggage. Do check and see if your karmic baggage has been released for the year. Remember, karmic baggage is always annually released. So if you're due for a uh, dragon spell, get in touch. Remember, we do it over the weekend on Saturdays and Sundays. We queue it way before time though. Right, um, the Ten of Cups, beautiful card. So it looks like there will be a baby in the house. Either you're going to be blessed with a healthy, bouncy baby or a relative of yours will be the or a friend you know but it is definitely a sign of joy it's also possible that you need to focus on the gratitude that you should be expressing for all the good stuff that's happening in your personal life 
if you are unhappy with one aspect of your personal life uh, you know my husband loves me but this person doesn't or you know um, in the family or this person loves me um, you know but my husband doesn't uh, ask yourself do you love yourself ask yourself are you expressing gratitude for all the good stuff that is there in your life so please remind yourself that your vibe is chosen by what you think and how you feel this is a very good card we use it a lot in spell casting okay and the last card um, is the card of strength which speaks about the fact that you could be a leo dealing with one please don't bring ego into a relationship please don't be intolerant don't be impulsive don't be judgmental and don't be opinionated uh, ego has no place in a relationship whoever it might be not just a love interest but any other thing okay so don't bring ego into your relationship and everything should be fine whatever's happening right now in your life uh, remind yourself about this even if the person in front is behaving like that i'm not saying get stepped on uh, or you know being taken for granted but i'm saying don't use tools that are not emotions okay they are negative emotions right all right that's all i have for you uh, for the month of april i hope um, april last week i hope you have a beautiful beautiful month tell me how it went and let me know if i can help you in any way take care of yourselves i will see you in the month of may until love light and knowledge to you all beatus essay and om sarve bhavantu sukhinam